Yo, what's going on folks? OBJ the Don coming at you with another quick video. This one will be quick, I promise, no doubt. Um, I want to talk to y'all about something that has never really sat well with me, but I am a victim of actually, um, you know, putting up with it and, and going through with it. I'm a victim of it, regardless, you know what I mean? Um, that's basically these uh, subscription services. Uh, uh, Microsoft Live, what is it, Xbox Live, as well as uh, 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 Sony, uh, uh, the PSN, you know, PSN, uh, Plus, PlayStation Plus. Um, that shit never really sat well with me, but I allowed it to go down, no doubt about it. Um, uh, I'll give you a quick backdrop. I don't want to spend uh, too much time about this, uh, on this situation, but um, basically... Uh, last generation, the uh, Xbox 360. I had no intentions to get an Xbox 360. I was fine with, um, you know, uh, uh, playing on my PlayStation 3. Um, you know, the exclusives that I had on there. And, um, you know, the overall, you know, my gaming habits in general was, you know, me playing to myself, playing my single player games and, and having a fucking ball. Um, when I did play online, it was basically, uh, Madden, you know, from time to time or whatever. But, um, you know, I, I was fine, content and everything. Um, at work, though, um, I had some friends or whatever. Uh, when Black Ops 1 came out, they, uh, you know, they was always talking about it at work, how, how much fun they were having. And you know what? I never really wanted to play a shooter online with the PlayStation 3. You know, because I didn't like the fact that, you know, the, the triggers were fat as hell. You know what I mean? And I didn't like shooting with the R1, L1 buttons. I know there are people out there who like that, but I never, never liked that. It was cool with me. You know what I'm saying? It was cool with me when I was playing my single player games and things of that nature. You know, but... um. I just didn't want to get online and play like that, you know what I mean? But um, I didn't like that with the, with the DS4. Now, the, the thumbstick placement and everything for the DS4, the controller, I'm glad they made, you know, I mean, not the DS4, the DS3. I'm glad they made the DS4 bigger. It, it definitely, I think this generation, PlayStation has the best controller, hands down. I, 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 I truly do believe that. And, um... You know, that wasn't the case for me last generation. That wasn't the case. Um, they convinced me, my, my, my boys at work or whatever, uh, they convinced me to get a, a, a Xbox 360 to play um, Black Ops, you know, Black Ops 1 with them or whatever. So I was like, you know, Microsoft, <sighs> Microsoft, you know, don't they charge y'all, you know, that money and shit for y'all to play online or whatnot. And they was like, yeah, well, you know, yeah, they charge you the money or whatever, but, uh, you know, you get uh, party chat and you get this and you get that and, you know, all of this shit. And, and I, I was like, I'm not down with it. Like, it ain't like I can't afford it, but I, I just don't like that shit. You know what I mean? I just don't like it because I don't have to pay for that with PlayStation. Well, anyway, you know, days went on. They convinced me to go ahead and get one. So I got the 360 and right away, you know, I was, I was, I was impressed. Um, I like the layout they had, the menu layout. I actually like the 360 menu layout, uh, better than, um, you know, the menu layout they have now, you know, um, I, I think it was nice, simple, sleek. It was, it, it, it was a good menu. Um, the controller, which I thought I would not like the 360 controller for me became my, 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 my favorite controller. Um, I, I think I actually like the 360 controller better than the uh, Xbox One controller now. Um, I don't know. It's something about the Xbox One controller. The I don't. I can't put my finger on it, but um, it just doesn't feel right to me. Um, the the Elite is 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 a lot better, especially dealing with the dead zones and everything. Um, I noticed that the Elite is it, it definitely feels and everything. So so when I game. On the Xbox or the, uh, you know, my, my gaming laptop, I use the Elite controller. Um, but it's still, I think, you know, the DS4 is the best controller of this gen. I think 
the Xbox 360 controller is the best controller of last gen. Um, but I was impressed by the controller. I was impressed by the menu. I was impressed by the party chat. You know, we used to have a ball, you know what I mean? Up until 9 o'clock in the morning sometimes, you know, playing playing Call of Duty Black Ops. And, you know, and I had a lot of fun. Now, I didn't, you know, when they tried to turn me on to, uh, you know, Halo and, 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 and Gears and things, I mean, I just, it didn't grab me. Like, I, 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 I never... I, I wanted I wanted to like the uh, you know the the, the halos and gears because I had heard a lot of stuff about them but um it just you know it didn't it, it never grabbed me they never grabbed me I did like Forza though so you know Forza I I, I connected with that you know from day one um but even with the party chat and everything last gen I never like I said it wasn't because I couldn't afford it. And you can also get deals on, you know, the, uh, the, the Xbox Live services and, and stuff like that. The, uh, you know, you can get it for half price off and all that shit. They told they t told me all the tricks of the trade and whatnot, but it was the principle of the matter that always fucked with me. That was that was that was the thing. It was the principle of the matter, the principle of actually paying for some damn services that. I could pretty much get on goddamn PlayStation. Now, PlayStation didn't have that potty chat feature, you know what I mean? But that shit wasn't worth, that alone wasn't worth me paying that goddamn $60. I, w I was cool, you know, playing, you know, my PlayStation. Actually, I was just cool, <laughs> you know, but um, I did enjoy, I enjoyed the 360 last gen for my multi-plats, for most of my multi-plats, and I, you know, I definitely enjoyed my exclusives on my uh, PS3 uh, last gen, you know what I mean? So, um, I definitely love the experience, the experience, but the, the, the fee never sat well with me. And I remember thinking at that time, once I seen, you know, how, I mean, they, whenever I would bring up that fee to my friends or to, to random people online, you know, with the Xbox, like, they would be like perfectly fine with that shit. Like it, it was cool. They would say, "Oh no, no, no! You got potty chat. You got this. You got that." And you know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. You know they got to keep the service running and all of this shit and all of that. And not, you know, I mean they were fine. I mean they they were absolutely goddamn fine with um you know paying that 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 fee. And I, that shit never sat well with me. I paid it. I paid it. You know when the time was up, I paid that shit. You know. But it never sat well with me. And I remember thinking at that damn time, I said, you know what? All these motherfuckers uh, uh, seem to be perfectly fine with this shit. And I would see articles and stuff come out and saying how much money that Microsoft is making off of these subscribers and things of that nature. And I said, man, you know what? You know what's going to happen? PlayStation going to hit us with this shit. PlayStation is getting in on this action because one thing about me is I I know I'm not a Wall Street motherfucker and I, you know what I'm saying I don't claim to be no analytical motherfucker here but one thing about me is I I I I know good business I know good business decisions I I know when I see good business decisions that would actually end up in making a lot of moolah a lot of cash and I thought to myself I said, man, I would not be surprised at all if the next generation, the next Xbox, well, the next uh, uh, PlayStation that comes out, that they're going to hit us with that goddamn fee. Because they got to be looking at Microsoft over here making all this goddamn money. You know what I mean? And and they got to be like, yo, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got to get some of that cash. I understand. That's good business. Can't be mad at that. That's good business. I mean, I knew it was coming. So I pretty much prepared myself. Let me get to the nitty gritty, gritty here. I pretty much prepared myself for the butt ramming. You know what I'm saying? The butt ramming. Yes, it was a butt ramming. And Sony slid that shit up in there real, real smooth. Like at um at the E3, what, E3 2013? Who was it? Was my boy uh, Jack Trenton or whatever? Was it Jack Trenton or Sean Layton? One of them. One of them was up there, 
and I just remember them saying, you know, they were they had announced, you know, that the the I think they I think it was at the the, the announcement that the PlayStation was going to be a hundred dollars less. <coughs> Excuse me. That the PlayStation was going to be a hundred dollars cheaper than the Xbox. So they softened you up. They really, you know, they softened you up real good. And um, they were talking about all the services and shit, you know, that you were getting. And then they said, you know, the PlayStation Plus subscribers, your PlayStation Plus um, membership will transfer over to your PS4, you know, and everything. And everybody was clapping, woo, woo, woo. And then they said something about, you know, you can have all three of these things. Or they were talking about you can have all of these things for a low, low price. So I remember, because I, I, I was watching it, I had to go to work that day, so um, I was watching it on YouTube, I believe, the replay of the uh, 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 press conferences or whatnot. And I said, hold, 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 hold the hell on. I rewind. Yeah, he said for the low, low price. And then he started talking about, um, you know, for less than $5 a month. I said, damn it, I was right. I said, PlayStation. I, I said, I couldn't even be mad because... At first, I was like, man, I ain't paying that shit. I'm just going, you know what I mean, play, 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 play my goddamn uh, single-player games, chill out, don't worry about, um, you know, the, uh, you know, the online. But then I thought about goddamn uh, uh, Battlefield 4 and shit like that. I said, man, uh, it ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna have to go ahead and play the, uh, uh, bust down and, uh, pay this shit, pay this membership fee. But I remember. Thank you, Mike, that's all. Thank you. I mean, no, no, thank you very much for introducing goddamn subscriptions and shit. Thank you very much for that shit, man. But, um, you know, it seems like all of us never, really didn't have a problem doing that shit, did we? I mean, like, like it's successful. It's successful right now. You know, uh, PlayStation just announced that uh, they got over 20 million uh, uh, PS Plus uh, subscribers. So they're doing very well. And, you know, at... Let's be honest, it's a good it's good it's good business. Very good business. Very good business. Uh, you know, shit. You, you got an opportunity to make money. You see your competitor making money with the same situation. Uh, of course you're gonna go for that, you know what I mean? So they 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 slid they slid it up you know, they slid it up in us real, 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 real smooth, like real smooth, like, you know, that, that shit just tripped me out. You know what I mean? But um okay, so we didn't fight that. We did not fight, you know, um, actually paying for this, you know, paying for these services. We did not fight it. We went ahead and we opened our wallets. I am guilty of this. We are all guilty of this shit. We opened our wallets and we went ahead and supported this. Okay, it's cool. I, I, I I'm not, I'm no longer uh, pissed off about paying for these, um, services now I'm, I'm no longer pissed off about doing it but <clears throat> excuse me but recently i think i had touched on this in another video recently um it was actually confirmed that you know pc players would get the features Cross play and all of that shit. Everything that comes with Xbox Live. And they would get it for free. They didn't have to pay. Now let me tell you the difference with a PC gamer. Um, with, with the PC. See Microsoft know they can't really. I think they tried to do this shit before. Like early. Earlier. I think they tried to do this shit before. Where they tried to ch charge PC players. For that shit and they was like nah we ain't having it you can let your shit just sit right there up in the stove we don't care we don't care you know what i mean so um they tried to make them pay to some shit years ago i believe um but they just wasn't going for that shit um but pc players do not have to pay for xbox live and i'm not really hearing a lot you know, from the Xbox, you know, the pro Xbox community. Um, you know, those who claim they're goddamn Xbox fanatics and shit. I'm not really hearing a lot from 
media in general. I'm not claiming no media bias like crazy motherfuckers out there, you know, but I'm not really hearing a lot about this. It's like this shit happened and it went down smoothly. Like nobody has a problem with that shit. But God damn it, I have a problem with that. I mean, why would I not have a problem with that? You know what I mean? Um, If I'm paying for these services, then why the fuck uh, uh, do they not have to pay for the services? I have me a powerful gaming uh, laptop. Um, um, Very powerful gaming laptop. Um, laptop. Uh, I just, it, it made me uh, uh, figure some shit out, actually, because... I was like, I already let my 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 um, Xbox Live membership run out, and I was like, well, maybe I, you know, renew it when I, you know, um, when Recore and uh, Forza Horizon Three, um, especially Forza. I mean, Recore is pretty much single player anyway, but um, especially when Forza Horizon Three comes out, I I said maybe I'll renew it then. But then I thought, I said, well, goddamn, I got my gaming laptop, got my gaming laptop here, you know, um. I haven't went full throttle to build me a PC, but I am going to do that. Um, but I was like, "Well, shit! I don't have to buy Xbox Live. I don't, I don't, I don't have to purchase that shit because I can just do that shit on my goddamn game laptop. That's what I can do. And trust and believe. Like when people say, you know, PC and stuff like that now, like it's all difficult to do game on and all of that. It's not like that at all, actually." You know, I have a wireless thing where, I mean, I pretty much, as soon as I um, turn on my gaming laptop or whatever, I could either plug it into my monitor, I can plug it into my TV or whatever, you know, and, um, you know, just go for it, basically, you know, open up Steam or whatever. And um, as soon as I press the power button on my, uh, my, my, my Xbox controller or whatever, I have an app to use my, um, my, 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 uh, DS4 on there. Um, as soon as I press that button, uh, 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 it basically connects. It's 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 pretty much just like gaming on a goddamn console, you know. Now I wouldn't suggest playing with no controller against you know uh, 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 people online with uh you know the PC players you know in a shooting game you know online shooter. And I wouldn't suggest that shit. You got to be a bad motherfucker to do that. But um, you know. I thought about that and I said, damn, it seems like they're giving you less and less reasons to actually buy a goddamn Xbox. You know what I mean? Because I was like, okay, I'm not talking about people who are just yelling out that, okay, I'll just get a VC. I'll just buy a PC because, you know, that shit, if you're going to get a good one, if, if, if you're going to build you a good PC, or it's going to be expensive. No doubt, it'll be a better investment over time, maybe, but it's going to be expensive. Um, I'm talking about um, people like myself who already have a PC or, or, or good quality gaming laptop. People like myself who already have one, and there's a lot of people like that. They say it's over 300 million PC motherfuckers out there. You know what I mean? So, so, so. Those people who already have one, who 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 might actually buy a console, who who buy a console for a different experience or whatever, or di exclusives or things that they can't get on their platform, they have no absolutely no reason to uh, buy an Xbox. Absolutely no reason. Um, I just figured this shit out. I just figured this shit out, really, because I was like, well, why the hell would I renew my um, Xbox Live membership if it's free on goddamn PC? You know what I'm saying? I could just play the games right there on PC and enjoy the uh, party chat, every goddamn thing. You can do it all. You know what I mean? Right there on PC. They just gave the games away. Which is cool. I mean, can't hate on them sharing the games with PC. Can't hate on it. It's a masterful business move. You got over 300 million people out there with PCs or whatever. You're goddamn right. You better infiltrate that market if you can. Especially if you're Microsoft because, you know what I mean? Like, you know, their console business hasn't been doing too too well. Um on the console side of things. It looks like they're paying a lot more attention 
to uh, PC gamers these days. You know, they're paying a lot more attention. It's like that girl in school, when you had your girlfriend in school or whatever, and, um, you know, you was, you was dating her for a while, and then, you know, she, she, she wasn't really trying to put out or whatever. You know, she wasn't trying to give up the draws, you know. So um, that's pretty much the Xbox players, you know, the Xbox console players, us Xbox, Xbox console players, because I have my console right here, you know. Um, we're that goddamn girl who, you know, who wasn't really putting out. You're not supporting the goddamn, um, um, you're not supporting the exclusives and, you know, the new IPs. What I mean, the new IPs that come out for uh, Xbox. And they said, well, it, it, you know, this, this this girl ain't putting out or whatever. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm going to the next one, you know. So it seems like they're going to that, you know, that, 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 that other girl, that, that, that beautiful, uh, uh, that new beauty. That has walked by and um you know, they done he done took back you know they done took back that necklace that you didn't gave that shiny necklace that you had gave your old girlfriend, and um she she seems to uh you know we gonna we gonna see if she puts out. So they give you you know that necklace that you the, you gave you know you, you had gave your old girlfriend and they you know they, you gonna give it to your new girlfriend now you know so that that that's the games they giving up the goddamn games to uh, you know the new girl. You know, seeing if that girl is going to put out, you know, um, there is absolutely no fucking point in anybody with a PC or powerful gaming laptop or whatever to own or purchase an Xbox. However, Microsoft seems to be paying them a whole lot more attention. Doesn't look like they're trying to get out of the console business necessarily, but it but it doesn't look like they actually give a fuck about it that much either. Now we give um, each other shit in this gaming community, you know. Whatever your preference is or whatever, you know, Xbox people talk about. PlayStation people, PlayStation people talk about Xbox people or whatever, Nintendo people, all of that bullshit. You know, I watch different channels around YouTube, you know, that talk about the other, you know what I mean? Xbox people ragging on PlayStation or PlayStation ragging on Xbox, people ragging on Nintendo. I watch all types of shit because the shit just be entertaining to me. It's, it's, it's good for a goddamn laugh, you know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't want to see neither one of these systems go away. I wouldn't want to see Microsoft, you know, die out. I definitely wouldn't want to see Sony die out. I wouldn't want to see Nintendo die out because I don't want a goddamn monopoly. I want, you know, competition. I want people to push each other because we can't have a monopoly because if you just have one person ruling everything, that shit is not a good look. Trust and believe that. As much as uh, PlayStation, you know, uh, PlayStation players like Sony, Sony will turn into some goddamn dickheads if they was the only one running shit. You know, same thing with Microsoft. If they was the only one running shit, they'd be some damn dickheads, no doubt about it. Same thing with Nintendo. So, I wouldn't want that. But um, it does look like Microsoft is paying a lot more attention to the uh, PC community nowadays. Um, They're giving giving everything away free and shit. So, uh, I don't think I'll be... I don't know. I'm not going to say never, but um, I don't think I'll be uh, resubscribing to Xbox Live anytime soon. Y'all don't have a problem with this shit. If y'all have a problem with this shit, let me know. You know what I mean? I, I, I just want to know. I haven't heard that much about it. Like, nobody really cares. Nobody's really saying anything about it. Like, this shit is cool, but, you know, I, I'm not against paying for these services. And like I said, we've actually, um, you know, we, 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 we've let this come to pass. We've actually failed for it. PC players, they, they, they fought against it because they have other resources. They have Steam and all of that. They can, they can go play the games. And they tell you to keep your shit. You know, we don't really have that. So I guess that's our excuse or whatever. We, we don't really have that on the console side, you know, unless you want to go play Nintendo, I don't think it, they charge you anything to uh, play online on Nintendo, but I'm not goddamn going over there uh, playing goddamn Splatoon and shit. I'm not doing that. Anyway, 
you know, I just want to know what's y'all thoughts on the matter or whatever. Um, what are y'all thoughts on um, them actually providing that service for free? And does that bother you? If you're, especially if you're an Xbox gamer, does that bother you that they're giving them uh, services over there uh, to them free and you're not really getting anything in return? My thing is you need to, um, um, you, you need to, uh, 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 Give us a half price or some shit. I don't know. You need to do something for them. You need to do... Uh, I don't know what, what exactly you can do. It's not like they're going to give it to Xbox players free. Uh, because, um, you know, we've been doing it for so long. And they're making tons of goddamn money off of it. So, uh, you know, they're not going to make it free. I don't know what they can do. But they need to do something. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all folks right now. I'm tired of tell. I'm going to holler at y'all folks later. You like the content I provide, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, folks, OBJ the Dime, signing off.